morning. It's nice to see you. I'm glad you came to visit the village today. Mr. Quigley, what does your letter say? Well, let me see. It says, if you hear God's word and you do what he says, then you will have listened and you will be blessed. Hmm. What does that mean, Mr. Quigley? <laughs> well, it's not enough to just hear what you're supposed to do. You have to do what you're supposed to do. Oh, I see. Let's say your parents ask you to clean your room. And if you don't do it, then... Then you're not really listening, right? That's right, Trundle. That's right. Hi, Mr. Quigley. Hi, Trundle. Hi, Hi Dexter. Dexter. I'm glad you came by, because I have a list of things here to do around the village, if you could help me. Sure, Mr. Quigley, like what? I'd really appreciate it. First of all, there's a loose pipe at the jungle gym that needs fixing, shingle here on the roof that's loose, the bushes need trimming by the edge of the garden, Spike has some wood that needs fixing on her house, the garden needs a little water, and the fence over here at Bubba's house needs a coat of paint. So that's the pipe at the playground, the roof here on the porch, mm -hmm. the bushes at the garden, mm -hmm. the wood at Spike's house, mm -hmm. and water the garden. And? Oh, and the fence at Bubba's. That's right. You did very well. Mr. Quigley, do you think I could take that list anyway? I wouldn't want to forget anything. Oh, there's a lot of jobs to remember there. I think I better get started right away. We'll see you later. Bye, Trundle. Thank you, Dexter. Bye, Dexter. Mr. Quigley? Mm -hmm. Dexter really listened, didn't he? Because he's going to do the jobs right away. That's right. It's very important to listen. You know, today is a good day to learn about listening. Boy, am I ever excited to spend the night at Lemons tonight. We're sure going to have fun. <laughs> Spike, have you started to get your things together for Lemons House yet? Uh, yeah, Dad. I was, uh, just getting to that. I think you should bring your toothbrush so you can brush your teeth. Are you listening, Spike? And of course you'll need pajamas to get a good night's sleep. Are you listening, Spike? Bring your sleeping bag and pillow and you'll be counting sheep. Are you listening, Spike? These are the things you'll need to spend the night. Spike, did you hear what I said? Uh, uh, yeah, Dad. Every word. Okay. Oh, we sing about yeah. singing. My knee is really sore, Doctor. 
It hurts. That's why it's important that you wear your knee pads when you're skateboarding, Danny, so that you won't hurt yourself. I'll remember that next time, Doctor. Okay. There. Now, this medicine will help your knee feel better. Your mom will put it on for you. Okay. I hope it'll feel better soon, because it's really sore. I know, Danny. Why don't we pray that Jesus will help your knee feel better? Okay. That would be great. Bow your head. Dear Lord, I thank you for Danny and pray that you will help his knee to feel better really soon. For we pray it in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Doctor? Mm hmm Did Jesus hear you when you just prayed? Jesus always hears us and listens when we talk to him. Really? Always? That's right. Wow. Thanks, Doctor. And thanks for the neat Band-Aid. I like that color. Okay, and, Danny. And thanks for the medicine, too. All right. Now, you take care of yourself, okay? Okay. All right. Oh, I like that song, do yeah, you know? I like the words you wrote. It was fun. Yeah, let's like sing together. Sing here. Well, hi, you two. Oh, hi, hey, Dexter. Dexter. Say, Dexter, uh -huh. what are you working on? Well, Mr. Quigley told me there was a loose pipe uh -huh. here at the jungle gym, so I came over to fix it. Oh, I see. Oh, Dexter, mm -hmm. I remember when Mr. Quigley told you that big list of things that needed fixing in the village. That's right. Yeah. Hey, Dexter? Yeah? Uh, when you repeated the list back to Mr. Quigley, how did you remember everything? Well, I had to listen very closely. And now, I brought the list with me so I wouldn't forget anything. Oh, oh I uh, see. Speaking of listening, mm -hmm. would you like to hear the song that Trundle taught me? Sure. Yeah. Oh, goody. <laughs> I think you'll like it. Great. We made up the words oh. ourselves. Yes, wow. we did. Yeah. When I sing the listening song when i sing the listening song it's okay to sing along it's okay to sing along sing it fast sing it fast sing it slow sing it slow sing it high sing it high sing it low sing it low when i sing was great. Oh, thanks, Dexter. Now, you sing with us this time, okay? Oh, sure. Good. When I sing the listening song When I sing the listening song It's okay to sing along It's okay to sing along Tra-la-la Tra-la-la Sing along. This time you try it, Dexter. Okay, I think I will. When I sing the listening song, when I sing the listening song, it's okay to sing along. It's okay to sing along. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Slap your wings. Slap your wings You can do You can do Anything Anything When I sing the listening song When I sing the listening song I wish you would sing along I wish you would sing along That was fun! You yeah. sang <laughs> Dexter? Yeah. Thanks. Oh, I just remembered. I have to get home to get ready for Spike's visit. Oh, well, yeah. bye, Lemon. We'll see you later. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Lemon.
tam 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 What? I wonder what they're doing. Hi, Dexter. Oh, hi, Milty. What you doing? Well, I just finished working on something over at the playground, and now I was going to fix this board on Spike's house, but I just realized I left a few things that I needed behind at the tool shed. Ooh. Oh, I know. Maybe you could go over to the tool shed and get them for me. Me? Yeah. Well, sure. That'd be great. You name it, Dexter. Okay, well, I need some putty and mm -hmm. a putty knife and some sandpaper mm -hmm. and a paintbrush. Oh, okay. Let's see. You need some silly putty and a paper knife and... Uh, Dexter? Yeah, Melty? I can't remember all the things. Can you repeat them back, please? That's okay, Melty. Sometimes I have a hard time remembering, too. And when I do, I have a little trick. A trick? Yeah. What is it? Well, I think of the job I'm going to do and the tools that I'll need, and then the order that I'll use them in. Ooh. Like for this job, I want to fix this piece of wood. So mm -hmm. I'll put on the putty with the putty knife, and then I'll use the sandpaper and sand it really smooth, mm -hmm. and then I'll use the paintbrush and paint it. Oh, I get it. So you need some putty, a putty knife, some sandpaper, a paintbrush. Oh, boy. Hi, Bubba. Shh. What is it, Bubba? I, I don't know. Those people on Mr. Quigley's porch are waving their hands like they're very upset or something. But, but, but what are they saying? I don't know. I've been trying to hear, but they're talking too softly. I can't hear a thing. Well, maybe if we were really quiet and listened, we'd hear what they were saying. Oh. Space and, and they took away everybody's voices. And, and now they're coming to take ours. Yeah. Oh. Well, hi, Danny. Hi, Bubba. Your voice is back. We thought that aliens had taken your voice to another planet. Yeah. <laughs> you must have seen me talking to Chris and her teacher. You see, they're deaf. They can't hear, and so they talk with their hands. Uh, well, what do you mean, Mr. Quigley? I don't Quigley? get it. Well, why don't you come over here and meet them, and I think you'll understand a little better. Oh, okay. Okay. Here, let me introduce you. Chris, this is Bubba, and this is Danny. Wow. She said it's nice to meet you both. Oh, oh nice, nice to, to meet, meet you, you too. too. You know, even though Chris can't hear, she can listen by the words that are said with our hands. Oh, so those signs she was making with her hands, that's like talking? Well, yes. That's why it's called sign language. Oh, wow. You know, you know what we were doing a few minutes ago? What, Mr. Quigley? We were praying with our hands wow. in sign language. God understands sign language? Oh, yes, he does. God understands every language and he listens to every prayer that's prayed from the heart. Wow! Yeah, that's something, isn't it? Yeah! Wow, that's yeah. really neat. Prayer is talking to the Lord. He hears every word that you say. Prayer is listening to the Lord. Are you listening to him today? Seen all our deeds, he forgives us one and all. God is here, he's everywhere. My concerns, he'll always bear. Loving me, I'm in his care. He is listening to my every prayer. Prayer is talking to the Lord, he hears every word that you say. Prayer is listening to the Lord. Are you listening to him today? Prayer is giving thanks to God. Every day is from. 
ba ba. Prayer is giving praise to God, giving Him devotion and love. Prayer is something you can do. You and God each play a part. Prayer is simply loving God and telling Him from your heart. God is here. He's everywhere. My concerns He'll always bear. Loving me, I'm in His care. He is listening to my every prayer. Prayer is talking to the Lord. He hears every word that you say. Prayer is listening to the Lord. Are you listening to Him today? Wow, that was, that was great. <laughs> Boy, Mr. Good. Quigley, they can even sing with their hands. They sure can. Isn't it wonderful how God listens to all of our prayers? Oh, yeah. Well, we'll see you guys a little later, okay? Okay, bye, Mr. Bye Quigley. Bye. Do you know what? Chris is going to teach us a few signs from sign language. How about if Chris tells us the sign for Jesus? Did you see that? Do it again for us. Can you do it again? Let's try it together. That's the sign for Jesus. How about a sentence? Will she do a sentence? Do you know what that was? That was God loves you and we do too. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? Isn't it terrific how God will listen to us even when we talk with our hands. Dexter, Dexter, I got everything that you asked for. Great, Melty. But I'm sorry it took so long because I couldn't find the paintbrush. Well, that's okay. I had a few other jobs to do anyway while I was waiting. Oh, well, here's the putty and the putty knife. Uh-huh. And here's the sandpaper and the paintbrush. That's great, Milty. You remembered everything that I needed. Yeah. You did a and, great job listening. Well, thank you. And thanks for the little trick about remembering things. Sure, Milty. And thank you for getting the extra things that I forgot. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> oh, boy, Spike. This is going to be a blast. Yeah. Oh, I've been thinking all day about the fun things we could do. Yeah. Hey, let's get your stuff unpacked right away so we can start having some fun. All right. You can put your toothbrush right there on my bed, okay? Okay, let me look for it. Let's see, um, uh, uh, uh-oh. What? Oh, I think I forgot my toothbrush. Oh, no, really? Yeah. Well, I think we might have an extra one. Oh, goody. Hey, I know. Let's put our pajamas on right away. That way we can play all evening and still be ready for bed. Yeah! Oh, let's see, pajamas, pajamas, pajamas. Oh, no! What? <sighs> Did you forget your pajamas, too? Well, I was so excited about all the fun things we'd be doing today. Yeah? I guess I didn't listen when my dad was telling me what to bring. Oh, Spike. I'd better go call him. Yeah, you better. <laughs> That was sure fun to meet Chris and the teacher. Yeah. It sure was. Mm. Do you know, even if we can hear, sometimes we don't listen. But if you can hear somebody, aren't you listening? Well, not necessarily. The Bible says that if we only hear what God says, but don't do what he says, then we haven't really listened at all. Oh, oh I see. That's what the letter said this morning. If you hear God's word and do what he says, then you will have listened and you will be blessed. That's right, Trundle. There's a story in the Bible about a man who heard God but didn't do what he said. Oh. His name was Jonah. Oh, wow. tell us about Jonah. Yeah. Well, God said to Jonah, I want you to go to the city of Nineveh and tell the people there that I love them very much oh. and that I want them to obey me. Oh, wow. Well, Jonah, 
He didn't think that the people would listen to him. He didn't? So he wow. decided not to obey God. Oh, wow. Jonah decided not to obey God. I don't want to go to Nineveh, so I'm not going to go, even though God told me to go there. <laughs> That's why I'm going to take this boat. It's going the opposite way. <laughs> Okay, we're going to Tarshish. Yeah, all right. Wow, looks like there might be a storm up ahead. Uh-oh. Hold on, Ooh. could get a little rough. Uh-oh. Wow, oh, it's no. getting dark. Ooh. Oh, oh no. sick. Oh, oh no. no. It, look at the waves. Oh, no. Oh, no. Help. Oh, no. Help. Oh, it's my fault that we're in this mess, everybody. Yeah. I didn't listen to God when he told me to go to Nineveh. Oh, no. oh, no. If you throw me into the water, the storm will stop. Okay, you're out of you here. Uh-oh. One, two, three. Ooh, nice shot. Thanks. Hey, if you swim that way, you'll be there in about, oh, I'd say a week. <laughs> See you later, alligator. Uh, Hey! It really Whoa. did clear up. It looks great! Whoa! Wow. We're out of here. Yeah. Oh no, it's so far to Nineveh. Oh, what am I gonna do? It can't get much worse than this. Or can it? Oh no! Oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I'm stuck inside this fish. I'm fish food. Now what? Oh, God. I'm sorry. I should have listened to you when you told me to go to Nineveh. I'll go straight to Nineveh if you get me out of this fish. Hey, the fish is starting to open his mouth. Oh, hey. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. So Jonah went straight to Nineveh, and he told the people there exactly what God had said, and they decided to obey God. Wow! So Jonah finally listened to God? He sure did. Well, it's getting late, and you should probably be going home now. No. Thanks for the story. OK. Well, I was just wondering, Remember when, earlier, you told me all those things I should bring to Lemon's house? Yeah, well, I sort of forgot a few of them. <laughs> well, most of them, actually. <laughs> yeah, I know, Dad. Y yes Dad. Well, no, Dad. I don't know what to do. I wish I'd listen more carefully. Okay, Dad. Thanks. Bye. Spike, Spike, what did he say? Well, he said he'd bring over all the things that I forgot. Oh, good. Was he angry? No, just disappointed. Mostly that I didn't listen better when we talked about what I should bring. Next time, I'm going to listen to my dad when he talks. <laughs> Well, Mr. Quigley, it sure has been a long day. Sure has. Seems like we just checked the mail. Already it's time to go to bed. Well, I've already said my prayers, and I know that God heard them all. That's right. Well, sleep well, Trundle. We'll see you in the morning. Good night, Mr. Quigley. I'm sure glad you came to visit the village today. You're welcome here anytime. Remember, God loves you, and we do too. Good night. Dear God, thank you for teaching me about listening today. I'm sorry that I don't always listen to what I'm told. Help 
me to try harder. Thanks for listening. Amen. Dear God, it's time to go to sleep. I know my busy day is done. Thanks for the promises you keep. And thanks for Jesus Christ, your son. Thank you for friends and family. Thank you for watching over me. I know I'm always in your care. And you are with me everywhere. And now it's time to go to sleep. I know my busy day is done. Thanks for the promises you keep. And thanks for Jesus Christ, your son. Listening to the Lord, are you listening to him today?